Well, if you're heading out for some frightful fun on this Halloween weekend, hopefully your costume has a few extra layers. Temperatures are taking a dive this evening. We're talking 30s and 40s across the area, so it's going to be a chilly start to your Sunday. Some winds are breezy as well, so a chilly night overall. Here's a look at the big picture, and there's the cold front that marched through. Brought us some rainfall. You may have heard it last night. That's continuing to exit toward the eastern seaboard, and behind it, high pressure continues to fill in. Some much drier air uh, is moving in. Notice down toward Florida, though, we've got some showers and thunderstorms. We just got a newly formed tropical system, Philippe, which is continuing to make its way toward the northeast. No worries for it coming here. This cold front's going to help to block this and make it continue moving off toward the northeast. So the latest winds 40 miles per hour. It is expected to strengthen as it moves over Florida, the northwestern Bahamas, and then continues toward the northeast where they could see some heavy rainfall from the system as well. Heavy rain across Florida as well. Some areas uh, over four inches across the Miami area into the northwestern Bahamas. So if you do have travel down there, uh, it's definitely going to be a wet commute going into Sunday, uh, but should be start to be out of here as we go toward Monday. For us, though, clear skies. The rain continues to move out. Cold weather will continue to settle in across the area. Temperatures already starting to drop for you. 51 in Bogalusa, 56 at Gulfport. Still 61, though, in Boothville and 59 over for you in Grand Isle. Winds are out of the north, so we do have that wind shift that we get with these cold fronts, and that's where we get this cooler air that continues to filter in. Breezy at times too. 21 miles per hour at Grand Isle, 24 at the lakefront, 12 miles per hour for you out at the Kenner Airport. Now, you remember the dancing mummy from last year? He brought a friend, Frankenstein. They're both boogieing tonight, so if you're heading out as well, uh, you may need to stay warm by dancing as well. Temperatures, though, are going to drop tonight on the North Shore into the mid 30s, low 40s for you on the South Shore, clear and cold weather. And that chilly weather will continue at least for the next day or two as high pressure continues to gradually build toward the east, with it still toward the west. We'll see lots of sunshine shine and our winds out of the north, but we'll gradually see those winds shifting back toward the south and southeast, and that does tap into that Gulf of Mexico moisture. We will see another cold front diving down toward the south. It's going to get kind of hung up, though, just off toward the north, so I'm not expecting it to move through our area, but notice some rain and moisture starts to increase as we go toward Tuesday, so that will start to spread further east, and we could get some slight rain chances returning in the forecast as we go toward the end of the week, and temperatures will start to warm as well. Mid-60s for your highs tomorrow into the mid-70s by Tuesday. So looking at your forecast uh, for tomorrow for Sunday, blue skies and comfortable temperatures mid 60s across the area. Breezy winds though out of the northwest 10 even could gust up to 15 miles per hour. But overall going to be a great day if you do have some outdoor plans to get out and enjoy. Still might need that sweater though as we go throughout the day or if you're heading out early for the Saints game on Sunday. Temperatures again only going to climb into the mid 60s. We're going to see the sunshine as we go throughout most of the week. Some slight rain chances start to return. We have that cold front getting close to the area. Uh, but that will keep some slight rain chances as we go toward Friday and into next weekend. Temperature is going to start to moderate as well. So we're kind of in a temperature weather whiplash where we're going from some pretty cold weather, then some warm temperatures return upper 70s to low 80s as we go toward the end of the week. So